Automatrix M track recovery operation, Tuesday the 16th of June 2016. We contacted lunchtime by plant hire company saying they had one of their hammer attachments stolen overnight. We've put the Automatrix M track into alarm and that's reporting a cell site at Brent Cross. We've got a few positions here showing where it moved overnight, once to Northwest 1 and then to Northwest 2. But we're going to be heading towards Brent Cross. That's where it was stolen from, was W3. It's probably about six miles to the cell site location. Some industrial units um, with the timing in advance in the green there. That's, a, that's where we're expecting to find it in that green dot. We're going to have to do a UHF radio find because there's no GPS emanating from the tracking unit. We think it's in the back of a van or a lockup. That's where we normally find these type of items. We've arrived at Brent Cross shopping area, which is where this main cell is, and uh, I've got the RF detector on, and we can't pick up anything in this location. So we're just looking at the satellite image of this location, and we'll um, try and pick out something. The uh, UHF signal wasn't picked up for quite a while, but we've located it to this area here, uh, the beach. Brent Cross, they're going to be doing a, a, a simulated beach of this area. I just walked down to where we get the signal from, which is right down at the bottom here. What basically happened is we were communicating with the SIM card, and then um, the, the GSM, the mobile communication, went off. We had a, we had a massive high signal, uh, which indicated it was probably removed from the back of a van, and then we lost the signal completely um, from the mobile network which uh, yeah we reckon that was going in a shipping container or underground or something so um, it's been a bit tough because we've we lost communication like I say a few hours back um, but we've just been mapping basically mapping all of the cells in this area until we're actually at the same sort of location within about 100 meters or so of that location and as you can see quite tough to, uh, quite noisy and it's quite difficult to pick up the radio signal with the, the noise from the road. Literally when these breakers are uh, put inside shipping containers it really does muffle the signal. Um, but every time we've had one stolen and we've got it into alarm we've recovered it. Uh, just needs a little bit more in the way of triangulation. The police have been contacted there. Metropolitan Police, it's probably going to take them an hour to get to me. And there's some shipping containers in here. We're waiting for the police here now. Right down the far end, I've managed to pick up the RF signal, which, which is terrific. And where I've picked it up, there's probably around about 30 shipping containers all racked up. Went in this container park. And these are all the containers that we've been checking through. And it's, just, it's like a storage, um, self-storage site. So, um, but around this way. Yeah. Number 22. We work with the NAVSIS officers. They, they've got this kit. Right, okay. Their National Vehicle Crime Unit. Yeah. So they, they would normally say that's enough evidence to say that there's stolen goods in there and, and you know, that tracking device is in this container and therefore you, you can gain access. The only thing we've got an issue with is if they move this in the morning or something and then it goes. I'd much rather try and get this open and we don't know what else is in there. I mean, we could get all sorts of stuff tonight and not tomorrow. <laughs> I think she's trying to find out about warrants and things like that. Because obviously, because it's locked up, it's in a private, you have to get a warrant. All right, so these are the containers down the back we've already traced the RF signal to number 22 which 
is here. Number 22. And we're just going to get some bolt croppers. One of the locks is already undone. Uh, but the other lock, we need to get this lock open. That'll be good. Let me see what's inside. Excellent. The police just delivered the bolt croppers for us. Now we've got to wait for the CID. Give us a warrant to go in this container. We're still waiting for a, a warrant to break off the lock of this shipping container. Daylight coming. Yeah, that's pretty much what we find. <laughs> they obviously don't open this door. I'll find the breaker. There's so much stuff here. So li literally piled up to the roof with stuff. Yeah. We've got some push bikes. Oh. RS. Okay, it's now half past five in the morning, just after we've had the warrant and we've opened up this container. And we can see inside there's um, masses of tools and And our brake is buried underneath this. So it just goes on. There actually are some, come inside, some uh, push bikes here. RS. Which there's two, two push bikes, so that's good. So I have a bit of kits right down here somewhere. So if I go inside and go right in, there's a breaker. <laughs> Alright, so it's quarter to six in the morning and uh, we've had the warrant, we've opened the container and they've got a lot of work cut out, the police, today. They've got to go through, video that, photograph it, take it all out, search for DNA. There must be over 120, 130 items in that container that need checking. I just about eyeballed the the breaker with our tracking unit in it. I could just see that buried right underneath all of the tools in this uh, storage yard. We'll let the customer collect that breaker off the police when they finish with it. So that's another successful recovery for Automatrix Centrac. Excellent. Worth the wait. <laughs>